So we've received news from our overlord Alex Beckett that not only is he buying cryptocurrency, but he's buying mid cap and even the teeny tiny micro cap cryptos that are under $10 million of market cap. He tweeted, mostly rebuying my portfolio, but taking a few degen shots in the mid to low cap gaming. Have a good weekend. Well, we have a complete list of every single crypto coin he's ever recommended, but the problem is a lot of these are now out of date and a little bit too old. So we've gone ahead and updated this list to the most recent recommendations from Alex Becker on what he's buying right now. So in this video, we're gonna go through that list together as well as the list of things that he's explicitly stated that he's not going to be buying. And we've actually broken this down into two parts. So in this video, you'll see the large cap, the mid cap, and some micro cap gaming cryptos. And in the next video, part two, the coins that he's currently looking at under $10 million that he has never publicized before. We'll be dropping that later this week. So hit that big red button below. So let's start with some necessary context. We exploit Becker's face a lot on this channel for views. And if you remember the last time we did that, we told Becker that he was wrong in his thesis. Basically, he was saying that he wouldn't buy altcoins until Bitcoin broke $50,000. An absolutely absurd statement, one that I have to keep going back and reading to make sure this is actually something that he said. Where did he get this thought from? Well, basically he said in any other bull cycle, Bitcoin moves first and then all the other altcoins and microcaps follow afterwards. So I had to go and look at the facts myself. So I layered the top 10 altcoins of the last bull cycle on top of one another to see which coin move first. And if you can see on the screen right now, it's impossible to tell which one of these is Bitcoin and which one actually started moving first. The moral of the story is they all really move at the basically the exact same time. Well, the good news is Becker seems to have come around to his senses. He is no longer waiting for a $50,000 Bitcoin to buy. Instead, he's actually waiting for a $30,000 Bitcoin. He tweeted on July 19th, the move is rolling into gaming mids and micros once Bitcoin busts 30K with gusto. Well, that's slightly less silly, but still, is it just me or do you also believe that it's silly not to touch these mid and micro caps until Bitcoin grows 50% from where it currently is? It's just not how it's historically worked. Well, luckily, it took Becker just another three days to come around to agree with us. This time, he bought his thesis down to $25,000 Bitcoin. He tweeted, 25K Bitcoin seems like the trigger for me. We might even see some micro pumps. That is the micro cap altcoins pumping. Okay, cool. So this is much more reasonable, but I was even more excited when I saw that just three days after this, Alex Becker has scrapped his thesis altogether. He tweeted out on the 25th of July that he's aggressively DCAing into ETH, Matic, and Sol. And even as we'll find out later in this video, he's looking at some ultra micro cap cryptos with really low market cap. That's the stuff that gives you the 50 to 100 Xs. Awesome, so we put together his recommendations across his Twitter, across his YouTube, and across his actual crypto wallet on what he's recommending today. Awesome, so if you don't mind hitting that like button below, we can jump in and get started with the big boys, the billion dollar market caps at the top that Becker's buying, working our way down, all the way down to the smallest micro cap that Becker is currently scooping up. The first coin is Ethereum, and this one takes very little explaining. Becker's thesis is that Ethereum will become the number one crypto coin in the world by market cap. He basically says it has far more utility than Bitcoin, the current number one coin, and will soon flip it for the top spot. Becker is also buying up bags of Solana. He's actually been bullish on this token for a very long time because it basically serves as a foundation for a lot of crypto games, which is obviously Alex Becker's niche. It's currently listed at $36 a token, where at the top of the last bull cycle, it actually peaked at $250 a token. Becker's thesis is it's gonna get to $300 to $500 during the next bull cycle. He's also buying up XRP or Ripple. Now, to be honest, I don't know much about the technical side of this token, but all I do know is that it's a top 10 crypto that's down 10x from all-time highs. I know they're going through some court case at the moment that they're apparently going to come out on top of. And the most important thing is Becker says that he's scooping this up right now. Binance. Becker thinks that this is the most profitable and responsibly run centralized exchange or real business out there in the Web3 world right now. In fact, they hired over 2,000 people during this bear market where a lot of these other companies had to let people go. Now, it is only down 3x from all-time highs, but they're in an excellent position to ride the next bull cycle, and Becker is once again scooping these up. Uniswap. This one's an interesting one. Becker thinks the next bull cycle will be really, really big for decentralized exchanges. Basically, there's been a lot of trust issues with these centralized services such as Celsius and from this last bull and bear market. And next cycle, these decentralized exchanges will probably be the front runners. And what better place to start than in Uniswap, which is down 8X from all time highs and is the largest decentralized exchange on the second largest token, Ethereum. Beck is also a massive fan of Chainlink and he's currently scooping it up. 
Chainlink is down 8x from its all-time high and it is attempting to sync off-chain data and services to on-chain smart contracts. It's currently the number 24 largest token in the world and Becker is buying. Becker's also mentioned Cosmos, down 5x from their all-time high and he says that they have some fantastic technology in this protocol and he's scooping it up. Despite its performance, Becker's also been a really big fan of Polkadot. It's the number 12 biggest chain in the world and it's down almost 10x from its all-time high. And lastly, what is Becker not buying? Well, Becker is very anti-Bitcoin in this next bull market. He says that Bitcoin is on his no touchy list basically because he's believing in the flippening that ETH will become the top coin and why put your money into something that is going to be going down the list when you can put your money into all the things that are going to be going up the list. And why does he think that? Well, we can talk about that in another video, but basically based on utility. Ethereum seems to have a lot more application at the moment in the Web3 world than Bitcoin. He tweeted, DCAing into ETH and Sol and a mix of the top 15 that we just went through together, but no orange coin, no Bitcoin. Awesome, so they are the big tokens. But what about those sweet juicy mid to low market cap coins that are more likely to 10, 50 and 100x? Well, he's been a lot less specific on Twitter and in his videos about these, but he has called out four specific tokens. The first being PYR or Vulcan Forged. Beck has been a massive fan of Vulcan Forged since last year, and they're currently down 15x from all time highs. Not only have they been ferociously building this entire bear market, but they're not a single game, but a gaming development company, among a lot of other things. Becker says this is much better to invest in a token like this because you're not putting all your eggs into one basket like a game. Think about investing investing in EA games instead of investing in Pac-Man. Another micro cap is Cedify. Cedify is basically a launch pad that helps investors invest early into other crypto games as they're getting started or before they're even built. During the last bull market, it had an all-time high of $16 per token, and it has rode the bear market down along with the overall trend of the market down to $1.50. This is one that once again, Becker has been extremely bullish on. And I remember last year when he was recommending in the 70 cent range and within a few months, it had gone up to $7. And I missed out last time. So this could be one that I might swoop up myself. Becker's also pointed out specifically that he wants to get back into Veracity. Not only is Veracity sort of empowering creators like in a Twitch sort of service, but they're also going to be rewarding the audience of these content creators. They've also recently announced a product called AdTech a product that intends on reducing fraud when it comes to advertising. Now, this is actually a very interesting choice because Alex Beckett has pointed out a new coin that I've never heard him talk about before in this same niche. And in fact, he's actually released our criteria, more on that in the next video of what he's looking for in this next bull cycle. And he said, advertising is a big one. The token was called AdShares or ADS as its ticker symbol. And they're attempting to be one of the first peer-to-peer -peer ad services in the Web3 world. It currently has a $70 million market cap and Becker has said it could be a good buy. Now, what else is interesting, if you caught the minor details of Becker's last video, he actually said that Becker is creating a company in the same space, the digital advertising for Web3. Now, this also makes a lot of sense because he runs a company called Heroes, which is one of the biggest ad software companies in the Web2 world. So he's probably going to be creating some form of Web3 version of that. Once again, if you wanna stay updated with all this stuff, hit that subscribe button below. Now, the thing with all these coins, like always, we're gonna give you the don't rush into it, don't spend more than you can afford. And remember, Becker's even DCAing into these dollar cost averaging, make sure you know what that is. He said there's a good chance that these could all drop 50% more than they currently are. And now, what about the real stuff? Like the real, real stuff, like the 50Xs, the 100Xs, the juiciest gains you can get in the crypto world. The rocket ships that we really just wanna strap ourselves into and let them do all the work for us and turn our 10 into the million dollar range. Well, here's some good news. Becker is finally researching these coins again. He believes it's time to start researching and potentially start investing into these teeny tiny micro caps. I mean, in the past, Becker has gone on record saying that most of his biggest finds in the NFT world where he got 10, 20, 30 Xs came from asking his Twitter audience, what are they currently looking at? This is why I was insanely excited when I saw this tweet. Becker tweeted, give me new slash under the radar gaming metaverse slash AR coins under a 10 million dollar market cap that you think I should research. Time to find some potential 50 X's. Well, we copied this comment thread and made a complete list of everything that everyone has recommended to Becker that I know he's currently out there right now and researching. The second step is we need Becker's mind. What is he actually looking at when he's going through and combing through this list to find those diamonds in the rough? Again, thankfully, he's actually given that to us. He gives us the five things that he's looking for right now this month in the market to decide where he puts his money. We're calling this the Becker Matrix. And in our next video on this channel right here, all 
you have to do is hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be applying the Becker matrix to this list of videos so we can come up with the ones that we think he's gonna like before he even publicizes them. And also, if you wanna follow us or Alex Becker even closer, consider joining our Patreon down below. We have influencer wallet trackers on people such as Alex Becker so you can get a notification anytime his wallet buys or sells anything so you can be ahead of the pack. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you hit that subscribe button because you don't wanna miss the video later this week. And if it's already later this week, we'll link it up in the description below for you to go watch right now.